wise choice. Hey guys, and welcome to this. All right, folks, we're still getting back in the saddle, so I thought I'd revisit one of my absolute favorites, Casino Lippy Lists, adapted for the modern age. So folks, the main idea with this deck, of course, is to create and steal as many golds as we can, and then you put them back in the deck piece with your Lippy. <clears throat> and play them all again. And hopefully play as many great cards and as few bad cards as possible. You know how it goes, folks. So, how do we create great cards? Well, look, a real staple of this deck is the Rune Mage, because that's just gonna increase our possibilities for the entire match, all right? So you, you wanna play that pretty early on if you can. We got Roach and Knickers for thinning, of course, and uh, they come out twice with the likes of Lippy. We got Shoop and Radea, sensational, so needless to say, there's no duplicates. Uma's Curse creates some great stuff. Aguara True Form creates some great stuff. Ideally, ideally, of course. We got Snowdrop to fix things up a touch, and in conjunction with Troll Porter, another great card here. This can either be played round one, maybe two, maybe three, to... Get rid of your garbage and draw back into the good stuff. Curse scroll, help us get what we need as well. Um, yeah, and then it's just a pretty basic uh, bronze package here, folks. Although, a couple of words of warning, okay? You do not want to play your troll porter if you have lippy in hand, obviously. And you do not want to play... Ideally, your magic compass if you don't have Lippy in hand. Because otherwise, Lippy may be one of those three options. And you either have to play Lippy very prematurely or not at all. And it goes to the graveyard for heaven's sakes. So folks, it's going to be a great old time. Enough faffing from me. Let's do it. Let's do it right. Let's do it right now. Bit of double cross action. Very nice indeed. All right. Let's set a course for adventure, folks. Strap in. And, uh, I feel, can you believe it? We get rid of the lippy for now. And indeed, the magic compass. Because we don't want those cards in hand for if we play the troll porter, you know what I'm saying, folks? And look, with the Cursed Scroll and Snowdrop, we can fix things up on the fly if need be. So we're going to open with a healthy Rodea play. Ah, oh, we'll go for the Magic Lamp. Why not? Why not indeed, folks? Really going to put the pressure on this fella. Yes, indeed. So next, we could go for the Rune Mage or indeed the Snowdrop. Viable. Ooh. Okay, in this case, wow, this is Mill, huh, and a leader charge, well, you, you won an only leader charge, hmm, interesting, all right, if this is Mill, as I think I would be uh, safe to suspect, in the minds of any fair-minded viewer, folks. I think we need Lippy back in hand, post-haste. Yes, indeed. We need the Lippy. That's our salvation, and we will not really need the Troll Porter. No, sir. So put that safely on the bottom of the deck piece. So let's utilize the Snowdrop a little more here, folks. And, uh, yeah, we'll put back the Torsic Invader and, uh, no, we'll keep that, we'll keep that. Let's get rid of the Svalblood Butcher there and the Uncrate Warcry, that'll do. Let's rub that magic lamp, release the genie within. We'll take that past. Alrighty. Bit of Roach and Nicker action of his own. I wonder if this is a Renfrey deck, folks. No? No, it's not. Okay. Interesting use of leader charge. 
so early on in the proceedings here, folks. All right, let's play that room mage. And uh, let's mix it up a little, shall we? Why don't we uh, utilize our friends from the north? See what they uh, bestow upon us. Okay, that's no good. Well, look, this this continues to get us a bit of value. What do you say, folks? That'll do. Got a healthy lead here, folks. You love to see that. And then we can, look, we can get some value out of the Uma's Curse, the Aguara True Form, creating more cards to put into that, uh, that deck piece. Okay, so I think we can safely suspect this is a Siri Nova list, in which case we might want to hold on to that Pella for uh, such an eventuality. Okay, what are you going to take care of here? The, the poor little Sage Tower or what? No? The Lamb Gin. Play Megascope. Strange. Strange times. Oh well. Alrighty. Uma, enter the fray. What do you got for us? Xavier Lemons. Um. The, hmm. What to do? Uh, can you believe it? I'm going for Glynis. I'm going for Glynis. Uh, being a soldier, I should have I should have put that next to the siege tower. But we'd need another, granted. But we play that many cards that don't belong in the original deck piece. We might get a bit of a simulate, a bit of a simulate booster. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, there goes the war cryer, that's okay. Alright, that'll do. Alright, Aguara, what you got for us? Alright, we go for the parasite here, folks. We go for the parasite, and I think we boost up. Uh, Let's boost up our friend Aguara. Aguara brought the parasite into the world. May as well benefit from it. All right, just like that, we've got a 20-point lead. 21, including the uh, the vitality there. All right, look, that'll do us. I think we're going to take that pass here, folks. You need a bit of catching up to do. You've spent your leader charge, and we have Lippy safely in hand. We're going to be just fine. We'd like the Magic Compass or the Shoop, that's for damn sure. But otherwise, I think we're in a favourable position here, folks. Okay, okay, cool. Um, that's fine. I've passed, pal. Can't do it. Disregard. No, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We drew from the Straga Bowl, for heaven's sakes. Snowdrop getting a bit of a booster. Yeah, it confused me then. I was sure I knew how matter worked, for heaven's sakes. And we drew the one strength seagull as it is. Sensation ability, folks. Okay, and he took our snowdrop from us. Unbelievable. Come on. Not what I'm wanting to be seeing here. Good. Okay. All right, we lose out on shoot, but that's okay, folks. That's okay. Because we will, we will go for the lippy. I mean, unless we go for the magic compass to find the shoot. Oh. Okay. All the more reason now to go for the lippy and forfeit in three, two, one. You playing on? I'm proud of you, son. Proud of you. <sighs> A lesser Gwent player would have seen the writing on the wall, I dare say, and bowed out. But... Good for you, pal. Good for you. Mm. I mean, I must say, our hand is pretty trash right now. 
pretty trash, but I think we're going to be just fine. So, uh, yeah, let, let's start getting the value off this Brockvar Hunter, I suppose. That'll do. That'll do it. I mean, we're two cards up. For, three cards up, for heaven's sakes. With all three of our leader charges. And here comes Pella. The moment you've been waiting for, my friend. And there it is. Still going to play on? There's the pass. Okay, we've got to play another card. Lippy may have entered the proceedings, but we can't take that risk, folks. That'll do it. And we go into round three. Two cards up. Can you believe it? All three leader charges intact. This is the sort of situation you write home to mama about, folks. Now, come on, we've got to ditch some of this garbage here. Very nice, very nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of the cultists there and we'll get rid of the little havery. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's start slow, folks. Start slow. We're only starting out this final round, after all. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Magna Division style, so Okay. Okay. Have a bit of two a second Vader at you. How's that? And then, uh, then, yeah, it's party time, folks. We put down the Glynis and look at all this assimilate that's, uh, that's going to be coming our way. It's going to be a thing of absolute, absolute sensation ability. Now we could... Uh, and why not? And why not? He's got the bonded. Let's just use all three leader charges here and take care of business the old-fashioned way. Magna Division, off you go. And a seagull to boot. You'll love to see it. Love to see it. We're 18 points up. We're a card up. This is unprecedented. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Alrighty. See you, pal. That'll do. We got the answers. We got all the answers we could ever want. Shall we utilise our friends from the north yet again? Okay, okay. Okay. And there you have it, folks. It's as easy as that. Thank you for playing on when uh, it was looking rather dire for you, Devil Plant 13. Folks, let's do it again right now. Alrighty, what do we got? Bit of jackpot action, huh? Okay, this guy's feeling lucky. Let's uh, relieve him of his expectations, shall we, folks? Get rid of those two. Very nice indeed. Okay, bit of basilisk venom in the proceedings, huh? Bit of a poison administrator, huh? Bit of a Gwent match, huh? Okay. All right, well, <clears throat> we can reply to this fella's opening play with Rune Mage, I'd wager. See what we get with that. Helps our Aguara. Helps out just about everything we want to play in this deck, folks. And we have the Troll Porter safely in hand without the Lippy and without the Magic Compass stuffing us around, folks. Thing of beauty. So, of course, we're going to play the Rune Mage. We're going to play the Radea. We're going to play the Vigo's Muzzle. Oh, okay. Not giving me much to uh, interact with there, fella, huh? Okay. Yes. Yes, indeed. In this case... In this case, we're going to go Redaya. And we're going to go for the Veilage. It's going to protect us just a touch from any uh, pesky poisonage. Now, I could have gone and protected the Redaya, but... That'd be getting rather tall, and there's no real ability to protect from the Radea at this stage. Whereas the Rune Mage may provide something worth protecting with the Veil, folks. So 
Let's see. We're 15 points up. He's got his basilisk venom. He's got his conjurer's candle. And he's got five coins in the purse. Never forget about the purse when you're up against these syndicate savages. Now, come on. We want to play the rune mage. We want to play the aguara. We want to play the Vigo's muzzle. And then, just like that, we play the troll porter, get rid of the rest of the trash, and draw into some more sensation ability. That's the game plan here, folks. Now, come on. I mean, this was a heck of an opening play by yours truly, granted. But come on, you're not out of it yet. The, the game is a pup, as they say. Now, come on. Ratchet up. Oh, he might do a bit of self-poisoning, you know what I'm saying? A bit of self-poisoning. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, let's go with the Dazbog runestone. Let's see what we get. Okay. Mm, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's go a bit of coded weapons action. You can have your wretched addict right back in the deck piece. And... Hmm... I don't really wager we're going to have any other engines as such, so we're going to go tall. I know we're going tall, but she would have been a prime target for poisonage, this Rodea. So let's protect her a touch. I mean, she, she brought that stratagem into the world. Why not benefit from it, for heaven's sakes? Okay, so what are you going to do now? Like I say, we want to play the Aguara and ideally the Vigo's muzzle. But when you're against Syndicate, you're kind of unlikely to get anything you're going to benefit from yourself. Okay. Too much to handle, folks. We can't even count that as a match for heaven's sakes. But I'm going to include it in the video. It's just some more bonus briefs for you, as I like to say. But come on, let's do it proper. Let's go. Bit of double cross action, huh? Okay. Hmm. This is going to be a battle for the ages, folks. I just know it. Look, we're going second. Gives us some breathing space. He's got the collar to lock down anything uh, that we might want to benefit from here, facts. All right, what do we got? We got some trash. We got some real treasure in the shoop. Stay off in the Aguaro. No rune mage to help out our chances. But here's the good news, folks. We got the troll porter. That, that ain't going to help you. We got the troll porter without the lippy or the magic compass in hand to screw things around for us. So uh, let's see. Let's go for the Aguara true form. All right, we go the Strybog Runestone out of those options. Let's see what we got here. That's five. Six. Also six. We're going to go the Savage Bear here, folks. And let me tell you why. <sighs> because we have another here. We have another one. And, you know... Maybe there's a way we benefit from it, but I dare say this, uh, this Savage Bear will uh, be banished to the Shadow Realm with the likes of the Troll Porter. So now we shoop. Now what do we want to go for? What do we want to go for? Let's go for, yes, this is what I was hoping for, the Shoop Mage. I don't care if we lose out on this, uh, this brewski, refreshing as it is. Garbage. But that's okay, because we just ditch it with the troll porter. And hopefully, we really screwed up this fella's hand. You know what I'm saying, folks? I know you do. Yes, indeed. So I think we go the troll porter next, get rid of all this garbage. And see what else we draw into. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, troll porter styles. Let's do it. Yes, indeed. Off to the Shadow Realm. Okay, we got the lippy. Don't want that. Don't want that. Very nice. Eh. 
Yeah. Very good. Okay. 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 And we didn't draw the knickers. Knickers has entered the fry, folks. We haven't given this fella anything worth locking either. Now he does have that pesky leader ability that we must always be aware of. Plus, he's given he's giving some stuff spying. That uh, what's his face? Uh, you know, the blue fella. Uh oh, what's that gonna do? Oh come on, man! It's on Australian. I'm interested. It really is. All right, room mage styles. Let's go. Uh, let's go for let's uh, let's let's go for the Dazbog rune stone here, folks. Uh, Duchess informant on a mage torturer could be okay. Well, we just go the mage torturer as is. Yeah, all right, mage torturer. Let's give spying to the Radaya. That'll do. The treacherous Radaya. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Oh well. So uh, yeah, what else do we want to do? We want to play the Uma's Curse, and like I say, going second, we've really got that beautiful breathing space, Your Grace, folks. We really do. Okay. And look, the Cantarella is going to be shuffled into our own deck piece, ideally, so who knows what benefits that might bring to us down the track. Oh, he's gone for it. Well, he will likely hit the Uma. There's a slight chance he won't. Whoa. Mustn't have. Well, okay. I'm happy with that, folks. I'm really happy with that, just quietly. Alrighty, Uma Styles. Ooh, Nelly. Mmm. Drawing a card could be okay, you know. Chances are good that we would get something rather good. But it's hard to go past the Hemdal. The Hemdal is pretty good too. Yeah, all right, let's go the Hemdell. Let's just go for it, Pax. Yes, indeed, with a bit of assimilate. When we're 10 points up, he's still got his collar, of course, but not bad at all. Although that's not a bad target for a bit of uh, Yennefer's Invocation, I'd, I'd wager. Okay, getting a bit of benefit from that. Fair play, fair play. Okay. Everyone has this Uh, what do we want to do here, Pax? Well, look, I don't. I really don't want. Let's give Doomed something, shall we, folks? I don't really want. Do I don't not want the Savage Bear or the Duchess Informant? I think the Informant might be better off than the Raging Bear. Just quite. Oh, yeah. Well, look, we don't want the Raging Bear to get too tall, do we? So let's give Doomed to the Duchess Informant there so it won't be shuffled back in our deck piece. We want the best of the best, please. Oh, Neuromancy. What's... Oh, you're going to go Rune Mage? Shot Wager? Yes, indeed. It's going to be a lot of points. A lot of old-fashioned points. We may just have to bow out of this round here, folks. Can you believe it? But we should be drawing into some great stuff. We we lippy as we pass, and then we're just then it's just a great old dime, fact. Yeah, because yeah, I don't really. Yeah, it's garbage. Yeah, we're taking the pass. Okay, you've made your point. Settle down. And he didn't even have to use the collar, but we have retained our three leader charges, folks. Now we're drawing into good stuff. We're going to play the lippy. So in round three, boom, we're back in the game with just sensation ability. All right, so we get rid of the seagull there and we'll get rid of the, uh, we'll get rid of the spell blood cultist. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Look at that. Now, are we going to face a bleed? It would be rather foolhardy, but I've seen it happen, folks. 
And I have fallen victim to it. Can you believe it? Uh, they always bleed. They always bleed. All right, well, we're going to uh, limit the options that those illusionists can bring to you. Post haste, here we go. And we're going to utilise one leader charge and hopefully hit this mage torturer just like so. Yes, indeed. Bring out our own seagull then. He was barely in the graveyard, and here he comes back into the land of the living. And now if you want to use those illusionists, you're going to have to bring out this foul blood cultists. Which, uh, not too bad, I suppose. Okay, Blight Maker Styles, sure. Mm, I'd wager he's either going to go for the 2-0... Or he's going to just keep on playing because he wants his card back, you know what I'm saying. Now, do we just play it slow ball and try to retain some of this good stuff? I think we do. Let's go for the foul blood butcher. Let's put that seagull back into the shadow realm. You know what I'm saying, folks? That'll do. Ooh. Okay. Okay, seagull for seagull. It's a fair trade, folks. Now, we're keeping ahead, and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Huh? <laughs> well, well, well played, well played. Mm. Well, we could magic compass. We could magic compass. We know we would unlikely to be picking that. But uh, there's no need. No need. We can get away with little Havre. The little Havre that could. And uh, we have utilised the <laughs> the Bloodthirst 2 here. So the Gutting Slash would do the big 6 damage. And look at that, folks. Look at that. We take the round of card up. Two leader charges remaining. Things are looking up, folks. And it's about time they were. It's about bloody time, folks. Alrighty. And bearing in mind we've always got the Snowdrop to fix things up a touch. Ooh, uh, mm, although this hand is rather sensational, I must say. All right, let's go for that snowdrop. All right, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we'll get rid of those two. Thank you so much. All right, so, you know, there's some great stuff left in the deck, that's for damn sure, but there's some really great stuff in our hand right here, folks. Oh, okay. Oh, hoo -hoo. we're going to bring that right back. To our side of the board. Thank you so much. Let's see what we get this time. And Dale's pretty good. Shoot's pretty good. All right, we're going to... Uh, can you believe it? We're going to get rid of the rune stones. They can go back to the deck piece together. It's a tale as old as time, folks. All right. When one rune stone meets another rune stone, beautiful things happen. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse than that, sure. All right. Let's go for... Ooh, hang on, hang on. Settle down. He's going to have that coup de grace. Aguara True Form would be a damn fine target for that. Yes, indeed. What do we want to do with the shoop? The shoop action. Mm, look, let's go Magic Compass. Let's see. Oh, Rune Mage. Very nice indeed. Don't mind if I do. And let's go. Look, we've had a we've had a Strybog. We've had a Dazbog. Let's uh, let's see what our forest dwelling friends of the Squirtle have to offer, shall we? Uh, dwarf Berserker ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. That'll do. It's really a, a seven pointer. It's a seven pointer of a card. Can't argue with it, folks. Three rune stones, one match. Look at that. You'll love to see that. Okay, there's the Brathens. Oh, we gave him a fine target. We really did. But, uh, oh, see, and if we if we Vigo's muzzle the Brathens, we're playing into the coup de grace. This is most disheartening. Most disheartening, folks. What to do here? What to do? Oh, well, let's go the Aguara troop. Boom. Let's, oh, oh. How can I go past it, folks? Four different rune stones, one match. Have you ever seen it? Unbelievable scenes here. Unbelievable. Fewer units. No, that's not likely. Dominance. 
Yeah, only just by the skin of our teeth. Uh, it's too slow. Too slow, folks. Oh, let's go. Let's go the humble plumage, shall we? That'll do rather nicely. Now look at this, folks. This is a, still a tight game. He could have some absolute sensation ability in his hand here. And I'd wager he does. Oh, there's the art down. On a rune mage, I'd wager. Good heavens. Good heavens above. I'm going for the Aguara. I, yeah, maybe he never gave up rune mage spying. I can't remember these days. But let me just... let. Oh, hey, play your card. Let's see what you got. But then I really want to just take in the moment here, folks. It's a cannibal. Back is rock slide. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's really putting the pressure on this fella. But let's look at this. We have a Davana runestone. We have a Marana runestone. We have a Strybog runestone and a Dazbog runestone. All in the one match. Unbelievable. Now, I want to use this muzzle, but... It really plays into the coup de grace. Soup. What do we want to do with the Shootmeister? The Shootmeister General. Let's just go for the points, shall we? Let's go for the points. Let's, uh... Let's go for the damage, please. We go for the damage. That'll do it. That'll do it. Man, this is a, re this is a real tight match, I must say. I really... But we have, we have two great cards here. There's the coup de grace. Finally! For heaven's sakes, on a second Aguara. But I think these two would have... That would have been a lot worse. I think I was wise to hold on to the Vigo's muzzle just quietly. A lot of points. A lot of points to be seen. But uh, we, we have fine finishes here. We really do. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Uh, what do we do here, Vax? Let's see. Let's get lucky. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either, for heaven's sakes. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Dare I say this fella might have us. I really don't want it to be true. Now look, we hit the front row, because look, this shield could have tanked us anyhow, and uh, I don't really want to hit down the spotter, because that may end up being our best target for the Vigos. Marshal, a lowly Imperial Diplomacy, even with the two Assimilate triggers, I think we might still be okay, folks. Uh, but Artaud will be boosted. Oh, damn, that's good. That is good. Is good, but is it good enough? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Mario level boss. But uh, that was very close. Well played, fella. What a match. Spicy soldier, spicy indeed. Now let's do it but one more time, folks. Let's go. Overwhelming hunger, huh? Hmm. What could these dastardly deeds be that we're in store for here, folks? Alrighty, get rid of that, get rid of that, and, uh, can... Hmm, getting rid of Lippy, can you believe it? We have Troll Porter firmly in hand. Now, let's get the Radea down, post haste. We're gonna go for two cursed scrolls here. We can use it to get the Snowdrop and the Rune Mage. I think that might be the best bet at this stage because then we got the troll porter get rid of this garbage after we've played the vigo's muzzle and the yuma's curse of course yeah i think that might be the best course of action just quietly yes indeed come on come on opening play what you got you're deciding something it's no doubt gonna be dastardly We want to play, oh, Fisher King styles, huh? Hmm, okay. Alrighty, so let's curse scroll for that beautiful snowdrop action. And onto the bottom of the deck piece. 
I think we might get rid of the, uh, let's get rid of the Mahaka Mail there, very nice indeed. Alright, so we'll do this. We shall go fishing for our trusty rune mage. And onto the bottom of the deck piece. Yeah, we'll get rid of the gutting slash there, very nice indeed. And we'll draw another two, just for good measure here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, our hand is rather sensational. Dare I say. Let's get rid of that and, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the Ungrate War Quarry. Just go, yeah, that'll do, that'll do very nice indeed. All right, so maybe we retain the Troll Porter for later on because our hand is rather sensational, I must say. And even the enemy Roach, it ain't a bad Vigo's Marshal target. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go for that Rune Mage. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's uh, see what our friends from the north have to offer, shall we? Not much. Not much at all. It's pretty garbage. Damn Nordlings. Should have known better. Should have known better. Go on, damn it. Oh, well. That's absolutely fine, folks. Rune Mage, you've done the Lord's work for us. All right, come on. So, we want to play the Aguara, the Uma's Curse, and the Vigo's Muscle. And we can retain that Troll Porter for later on, potentially a round three, to draw into the good stuff. But uh, there is cause for concern what the enemy has in store for us. Mm, okay. We can hold off on the muzzle for now. Let's go the Agua. No, no, no. He might just be dumping stuff. So I'm actually going to go for the muzzle. We're going to take that enemy roach. Just like the good lord intended. And out comes our own knickers. Healthy lead. We may even see a pass. And there it is. I knew it. I knew I had to get that roach while I could, folks. So look, we're in a great position. We're down a card, yes, but I think we are going to bleed a little. We still want to create a few more golden opportunities to bring back later on in the proceedings. Yes, indeed. Now, what other great stuff is left in the deck? Not much at all, apart from the golden compass, which will come back because it goes to the graveyard, but being an echo card, it's going to come back, folks. Unless we can draw it now. Let's give it a red-hot crack. No such luck, but that's okay. So, we're going to go with uh, Uma's Curse. What you got? What you got for us, Francesca? Interesting. Francesca ain't bad, folks. Ain't bad at all. So, we could uh, create a special card with the Aguara. And then, can you believe it, go for a double shoot bonanza? That's if Francesca survives the piece. Okay, okay, we have the purification. Do we want to go for it? It is tempting. I say we go for it. What are you trying to protect, son? Now, if it's something real dastardly, I guess we go for the lock from Shoop. I'd really rather not. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, let's see what Aguara has in store for us here. Ooh, some fine cards. Some fine cards indeed. Uh, Nagelfar is a good card, but it gets us the magic compass, which we really don't want at this juncture, folks. Bloody. Let's go for Imlarith's Wrath. That'll do it. That'll do it. Now, look at this, folks. We get the... Uh, if, uh, as long as Francesca survives, we get the double shoop. Do we go 18 points of carryover in the resilience? I think I have a better idea just quietly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Take a look at this, folks. Shoop Hunter Styles for destroy a random enemy twice. Shall we, folks? Take a look at that. We go for it again. Where are you? Yes, indeed. You love to see it. 
The Stuff of Dreams. Now what you gonna do, son? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play my lippy. Yes, indeed. We don't want any of that, apart from Magic Compass, but like I say, that's gonna come straight back to it. Oh, hang on. He's, go he's gonna go for... There it is. The Witch's Sabbath. Uh, I really thought I had him. Oh, God, man. You're really hurting my lippy here, son. What do we do? We got a lippy this round, because we're just drawing crap. Uh, but then we don't get this great stuff back into the deck piece, for heaven's sakes. What to do? Uh, this is a real conundrum. If we wait till next round, we shuffle some great stuff back in. We have the Troll Porter to get rid of some of our garbage. Maybe that's best. Yeah, okay. That's... That, well, yeah. We'll open with Lippy. The Troll Porter is going to be our salvation to get rid of the garbage that's in hand. That way we get the Rune Mage, we get the Double Roach, we get the Redaya, we get the Aguara, the Francesca, all back in the deck for potentially grand old times. Now, what dastardly deeds you got in store for us? Oh, you're going, yeah, that pesky business. Sure. Sure. Yes. This ain't great. This is not going to be good for us. Even though he's down a card. Yeah, he's going to put back the Witch's Sabbath and bring it all back. Yeah, this ain't great for us. So, before he Witch's Sabbaths yet again and stuffs us around again, Pax... We gotta play that lippy. We gotta open with that lippy. He can't open with, with the Witch's Sabbath because it's still firmly in the graveyard there. So, uh, yeah, get rid of the seagull there and uh, we'll get rid of the bear, which we're adept. Very nice and deep. So, yeah, we're gonna go with that lippy play. And then when he Witch's Sabbaths, it's gonna bring this stuff to the deck. Oh, don't you dare do that to me. There you sir. Well, yeah, we got a lippy. We got to stop the bleed. And, um... Oh, I don't really want to use these leader charges, but... He's going to get rid of some good stuff. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to make do, facts. Now, unfortunately, Nickers hasn't entered the fry. It stuffs things up just a touch for us. But uh, we will magic compass next. So then we can safely troll Porter, facts. That's what it's all about. Hmm. I don't know what he got rid of with Xavier in the first place. Yeah, there that goes. Okay, we're in for some hard times, folks. Real hard times. Oh, damn it. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go the Rune Mage, for heaven's sakes. Let's see if we get some... Uh... Come on. My northern friends, be good to us this time, please. Um... Gonna go the reinforced trebuchet. Can you believe it, folks? Because I think it's inevitable that this fella is gonna have to have some units on the back row. Some of them might be some Gunacora's fruits. 
So we might get lucky with the reinforced treb. Yes. But we're in for some real tough times here, folks. Real tough times indeed. Here it comes. Here comes the pain. Let's set a course for adventure and strap in. Alright. Alright, let's... Uh... No, we can't do it. Can't do it. I uh, don't know what to do, for heaven's sakes. Alright, troll porter. Come on. Be good to us. Alright. Not bad. Come on. We got the Treb doing work for us. We got some um, six damage with the Immolator's Wrath. This Arrakis Queen is pesky business. Is it? Has it done anything? Perhaps not. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, we get the seagull. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. Okay. While we can. Okay. While we can. Let's take care of one of them. And we use these leader charges. Try to hit these, these fruits for heaven's sakes. Um, hang on. No, because we don't want them to transfer. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it for heaven's sakes. Alright, come on. So they're gonna transform back, aren't they? No? Okay, alright. Oh, he's got some damn fine engine pieces here, folks. Damn fine. All right, let's go. Let's go Aguara True Form. Ooh, that's right. On the two fruits. I like the sound of that. Uh, but they will transform back. He's lost Sabbath. Unless he gives himself Sabbath again. Which he does not. Why would you not move the trap? Still. Alright. Okay, that's good. And that's good. Okay, okay, okay. We ditched those two. Ten times even points, folks. We're up a card, for heaven's sake. Oh, this cultist. You mean, what have you been doing to me this whole... That's why I didn't even notice what you were up to. Folks, we got it. We got it firmly in hand. Even with the Svalblood cultist. And, uh... I know it's all for... Oh, I know it's all for naught. Let's go, old mate Vincenzo. <laughs> <laughs> What a time. And it's as easy as that, my friends. As easy as that. Woo, that was tense. Tense times. Good game. All right, we got it. We got it, folks. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thanks, as always, for watching, folks. Means the world. Take care. And I really do mean take care.